Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to another video. And as I put up a poll on the community, a lot of you guys wanted to see this video, which is based on multi-ROM. This basically allows you to flash two different ROMs on one phone or more than two. And while you're booting up, you can choose which particular ROM you want to boot to. So since the last couple of days, I've been using Pocophone with the Xiaomi EU ROM as a primary ROM and OxygenOS GSI as a secondary ROM. And it has been working just fine. So in today's video, we'll quickly have a look how to go ahead and use this and what are the benefits and what not. But before we begin, a huge congratulations to Piyush Giri, who is the brother of Vishal Giri. Vishal, thank you very much for all the support. You've been supporting me on each and every video. So congrats, you will get the phone next month. I will order it on the 20th or 25th of this month. And before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right guys, so welcome to another video. And as you can see on the screen right now, we have a brief description of multi-ROM. Now this video will be more about what it does and how we do it rather than how to install it and go about it. Because how to install it and stuff is already mentioned on XDA developers. I'll put up a link to the thread over there. So all the files that are required will be mentioned there. However, let me give you a brief idea of how to go about doing this. You need to have an unlocked bootloader. You need to back up all your data and make sure you have more than 50% battery and then you need to go ahead and flash the multi-rom recovery which is a specialized twrp recovery and then you need to flash the multi-rom zip after that you will have a setup environment ready which will allow you to flash one rom as a primary and then multiple others as a secondary and a few more others if you wish to and then i'll also show you the booting process so let's quickly have a look what these guys have to say. Features, multi-boot any number of Android ROMs, restore Android backup as a secondary ROM, boot from USB drive attached via OTG cable, and multi-ROM, you need to download the zip from the second post and the modified recovery. Your current ROM will not be erased by the installation. Download links are in the second post. So let's quickly have a look at the instructions, which are pretty, pretty self-explanatory over here. So you have to go to recovery, select advanced, multi-ROM, add ROM, select ROM's zip file and confirm. As for the space, clean installation, stock 4.2 after first boot and stuff like that. So everything is mentioned over here and I was skeptical about it. But once I started using it, you know, you do it once and you get a hang of it and you will start loving it. So first things first, uh, let's quickly look at the known issues as well. So th there is currently no way to upgrade the secondary GSI. All secondary ROMs reboot to multi-ROM menu upon first boot. Just boot to the same ROM again and it will work. Some visual tearings, that's more than enough. They do have a Telegram group as well and a Telegram channel as well. And trust me, it works perfectly fine for me and it is compatible with Android 9 Pie. So let's begin with the first ROM that I have here. So if we go to settings, go to my device, you see that I am running Xiaomi EU over here. So that's the one which I reviewed a few days back and you guys have really, really liked it. So I've not had any issues as such because of the multi-ROM installation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to power this baby off and we're going to boot her into TWRP. So let's power off. And of course in POCO to boot to TWRP volume up and power, press them together. And leave the buttons the moment you see the POCO logo. All right. So that's a different sort of a recovery. It's a multi rom recovery so what you see over here is a standard recovery menu but if you tap over here you will see that you have an add rom option you have list roms so the second rom as you can see is uh, the oxygen os beta port for this particular phone apart from that you have inject boot.img inject boot sector settings so you have an option to make several changes auto boot time-based boot, select ROM. You can select which ROM do you want to automatically boot to. Apart from that, you can swap ROMs as well. You can duplicate ROMs, you can copy ROMs secondary to a primary ROM or primary to a secondary ROM. So more or less, they've got you covered in almost each and every aspect of it. And this is the recovery. And if you want 
to know this is the multi rom zip that you would ideally flash and as you can see these are the two roms so let me quickly show you the boot menu of it so if you go to reboot and system you will notice that it will give you a different sort of a boot menu wherein it will ask you which rom you really want to boot into so if you click cancel now you'll see if i would have clicked on boot now it would have directly gone to xiaomi eu but if i select this tap again to boot the system and i have tapped again on it booting oxygen os there you go it will reboot and it will start booting into oxygen os so for me at least it's a very very you know interesting thing to do and for you as well it will be really really useful because if you are someone like me who likes to flash a lot of custom roms but you are worried that you know my daily driver should be something that is really really stable and stuff like that well this is the mod that you should be flashing and it will really really help you so as you can see it has booted up into oxygen os and now what we will do is we will do a simple restart and i will quickly show you how to boot into the primary rom which is poco phone f1 with xiaomi eu now as i said this is a very very quick video talking about how this works so we just click on boot now and it is going to boot to the internal rom so the works of it you know it's a pretty pretty simple method i will make a separate video on it of how to go ahead and flash a primary rom how to go ahead and flash a secondary rom let me know in the comments section actually if you want me to make a video on you know a complete setup process from start to end that how to you know install this particular feature how to go ahead and use it and stuff like that but this video is more about you know telling you guys that all the instructions are there on xda developers the files are linked in xda developers you can go ahead and try it yourself if you come across any difficulty you can let me know in the comment section but as you can see we have successfully booted into xiaomi eu all my data is intact everything works perfectly fine no hiccups no here and there and you of course have a twrp recovery as well so there was a quick first look at multi rom which works perfectly fine on the xiaomi poco phone f1 let me know in the comment section how did you find the video and if there's anything else that you'd like to know about this particular feature for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye